Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today's video, we're gonna be installing this bunking crash bar on my 2020 Low Rider S. All right, guys. So I already did the fun part, and I went ahead and I loosened up all these bolts so I could take them off. Um, it should be easy. Basically, we're gonna be taking off these two bolts from here that hold um, the foot peg here and the, um, the back brake. And then the same thing on the other side. All we're gonna do is just loosen up the two bolts that hold the. Um, your, your left foot peg. So it should be an okay, pretty easy um, install. These bolts, you gotta be very careful with them when you loosen them because they uh, will strip on you very, very easy. So just keep that in mind. I already, um, since I installed the TBR, the TBR comes with these extenders for you to put in your foot pegs, otherwise they won't fit here with the exhaust. So I'm probably gonna keep um, I'm gonna keep those bolts, not the ones that um, Bunk Team provides, because they're not gonna be long enough. It is so hot in here today, man. Blue skies, clear skies. We'll go around for a little ride later and uh, test this bar out. But it is a beautiful day. It's just scorching hot, man. 92 degrees here in Dirty Jersey. All right, so we got that one off. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen up the other side. All right, guys, so we already went ahead. I also loosened this up right here. So the whole arm is gonna come off because we need space for the bar to go right in here. Everything here needs to come off in order for the crash bar to sit in place right in that spot, as you can see. Um, I already went over to the left side. I'm gonna show you that because it's basically the same thing, repetitive. The whole foot peg comes off on the left side and obviously this one here as well. And then you're also gonna have these little black plastic uh, uh, pins in here. So those you're gonna wanna pop out. All right guys, so you're probably gonna need a friend or somebody or your significant other, like my significant others here helping me out, which you can not gonna see her on camera, but you're gonna need someone to help you out on that end just to hold up the bar because it is really heavy. This thing is like, it weighs a lot. Um, so now we got it in place. I'm gonna go ahead and put this uh, footrest, all these controls right over where everything was at. And we're gonna start tying everything back up and that should be it. It's a, it's a pretty easy install like I mentioned before, guys. Doesn't take a rocket scientist to do this. All right, you're gonna pull back your control now and then we can start tightening these right back up where they were as well. All right guys, so we're gonna take the two bolts um, from the four that they provide. Like I said, I used the, uh, the two that I had here ready because those are even longer. This is the fact that I installed the TBR and it comes with extender, so I use those. Um, but I'm gonna use the ones that they provided for the left side. All right guys, so after you have your foot peg already installed and those two bolts are in there, there's gonna be one third one, which you're gonna put right here in the front. That's gonna hold the top hole of the um, crash bar right here. So you're gonna have two bolts right here and then one here on top. So it's gonna be three on each side. Like I mentioned before in my previous videos, guys, and every time I do any type of installs, I am nowhere near a mechanic. I'm just okay with my hands, like, okay. Now we come on the right side of the bike and just finish tightening everything up as well. These are on place. We can uh, use our torque wrench now and make sure everything is nice and tight the way it should be. There you go, nice easy install. All right guys, so just real quick, just to recap, you're just gonna loosen up these two bolts right there where your foot peg's at. And then this bolt right here, that is a stock bolt that we reused again. We don't have to replace that one. And that's it, so three on this side, three on the other side, and um, your crash bar is all set. All right guys, so we're gonna wipe her down, take her outside and go over everything, give you guys some nice shots of what she's gonna look like out in the sun. It's so crazy how that little crash bar um, just adds a special look to the bike. Um, I basically got the crash bar just for safety purposes, but I mean, if we can all agree, and I'm pretty sure we can all agree, um, it also just, it also makes the bike look a lot better. I don't know what it is, but it just makes it look very aggressive. 
but really good. I'm really happy how it turned out, how it looks. It's not a modification that you're gonna get for safety and then be like, oh no, you know, it looks like crap, but it's safe. This is safe and it makes a bike look good. Pretty good. We're gonna, I'm gonna give you guys a different review video coming up later on next week on how it feels like. Um, and all the functionalities and purposes of the bar, which are actually, you know, to protect your engine in case you go down, protects your tank, it doesn't let you, uh, your bike hit the ground as it would be without it so it definitely protects everything really good it looks great and that's it guys beautiful beautiful next install which i'm gonna do actually right now and post it up maybe even today are gonna be the black rings that we're gonna install right here easy easy install um pretty good uh when it comes down to the install of the crash bar also pretty easy guys as long as you follow these footsteps you should be in and out within maybe 30 minutes or so um, I think 30 minutes should top it. Very easy install, like I always mentioned before. If I can do it, you can do it. That's gonna be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching today. Stay in tune if you're new to my channel. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell button so it'll notify you anytime I upload any type of content. And like always, baby, let the force be with you. Last safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.